Welcome. Thank you for joining us. What, Thanks for having me. What are you able to ascertain so far? Um, well, in our recent report, as part of our ongoing research collaboration between the University of Manchester and the University, um, we looked into people's experiences during lockdown and then also into their views about what might happen after lockdown. And we really found two themes coming forward. One was the theme of uncertainty. Um, so people were feeling a great sense of uncertainty over both how long it would last and then what the world would look like after the end of lockdown, um, especially what social contact would look like. Um, and then the other theme that we kept seeing was the theme of loss. Um, so loss of income, loss of structure, um, loss of space for those of us at home, and then also emotional losses, so loss of meaning, um, was a big theme uh, and then kind of a, a loss of self-worth. And and these experiences really led to, to what people were saying were feelings of anxiety and depression in even week two or three. So we're really anticipating a kind of huge increase in feelings of depression and anxiety that we believe are going to persist post lockdown. And we're following these people the surveys. Unfortunately, Kimberly, our sound to you is, is in and out a little bit, but we've heard more than we've missed. So I think I'll try one more question to see how we get on. And the, the, the issues that you described there that people have been talking about being concerned around are kind of the big existential issues of, you know, wh wh what is life about? What am I doing now? What happens next? Mm -hmm. Is it mainly tied in people where there are other practical considerations around, i.e. they have lost their jobs and so it's a very specific thing? Or is, is it across the piece everybody's feeling all of these feelings? I think that people in general are, are really focusing on the losses that are more relevant to them. So we actually asked a, a range of people. So people who have kind of a lower socioeconomic status, or lower uh, income, and they were really focused around the physical losses more. Absolutely. The way that they were living, how, what were they going to do next? About the loss of income. And then I think you raised an excellent point as um, people's kind of income level increased, then you would get into the more kind of existential losses, I think a little bit more of a sense of loss of worth, but the uncertainty was across the board. So people really want clarity. Um, and I think that's one of the issues right now is that they're feeling like they're not getting clarity and that's leading to a, a high level of anxiety. Dr. Kimberly Dinas, thank you very much for joining us.